Hi lovelies! As a lot of you probably know already, overnight oatmeal is an absolute breakfast staple in my household. Of course, I love it because it's healthy, it's make ahead, and it's grab and go. So it's super convenient in terms of breakfast food. But every once in a while, I do get bored with my current flavors. So today I've created five new festive flavored overnight oatmeals that are perfect as we approach the holidays, starting with a delicious gingerbread overnight oatmeal that kind of tastes like a cookie. And what is not to like about that? This one all starts as all of my overnight oatmeal recipes do with some oats in a jar. To that, I am going to add some vanilla flavored almond milk. I always use unsweetened almond milk, but of course you always have the option to use sweetened if you want to. I also love to add some chia seeds to my overnight oatmeal for a little extra fiber. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some delicious gingerbread flavor. Instead of using honey or maple syrup in this recipe, I'm using an important classic flavor in gingerbread. I've got some molasses. A little molasses goes a long way, so you don't have to get carried away with it. Very, very sweet, but also has such a rich, unbelievable flavor. And then of course, when it comes to gingerbread, the secret is really in the spice. So I've got a combination of cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and cloves headed in here. We'll get our lid on our jar. Give this a shake until it's well combined, and then we'll get it into the fridge. That's basically the brilliance of overnight oatmeal. You basically shake up all of the ingredients, pop them in the fridge overnight, and come morning, you have an amazing hearty breakfast you can enjoy either cold or hot. I like finishing mine off with some vanilla flavored Greek yogurt for a little added protein. And there you go, gingerbread overnight oatmeal. Breakfast is served. Next, for something a little more fruity, I have got my pomegranate pistachio overnight oatmeal. Of course, pomegranate and pistachio not only taste really seasonal, but they also look really festive thanks to their red and green coloring. For this recipe, I'll just mix up my oats once again with my almond milk and my chia seeds. For sweetness in this recipe, I'm using a little bit of honey, but agave would definitely do here if you wanna keep this vegan. And then we are going to add our beautiful pomegranate arrows. I love these so, so much because they're just so pretty. They look like little jewels. We'll just pop the lid on this, give it a good shake, and then get this into the fridge. By morning, it is ready to be enjoyed. I like finishing it off with even more great pomegranate and of course, some beautiful pistachios for lots of nice crunch. Being pregnant is pretty much the only time in life you're going to get away with eating cookies for breakfast. So for the rest of you who are not pregnant, I have the next best thing. We are making some oatmeal cookie overnight oats. So I've got my oats, of course. To that, I'm adding my vanilla flavored almond milk. Next, I've got some chia seeds headed in here. Keep us a little fuller, longer. And then for sweetness, I've got some maple syrup a little vanilla extract, which is going to give us that amazing cookie flavor, a dash of cinnamon, and a whole heaping helping of raisins. Now, I know there is a hot debate out in the world as to whether or not an oatmeal cookie should have raisins or chocolate chips. So if raisins are not your thing, you go ahead and add chocolate chips instead. This recipe will work either way. Once again, just pop the lid on, give it a shake, and get it into the fridge. Come morning, you will be enjoying oatmeal cookie flavored breakfast. I like chopping this with a little bit of vanilla flavored Greek yogurt, but if you wanna leave it out and keep this recipe completely vegan, definitely up to you. I have to say guys, this is one great raisin to get up in the morning. Our next seasonal flavor combination is one I cannot get enough of this time of year because it's got some tartness and some sweetness and also some great freshness. It is my cranberry orange overnight oatmeal and it features cranberry sauce, which is a big holiday favorite around my house. In this case, you can definitely use some store-bought cranberry sauce, but if you wanna make your own, I have a great recipe for homemade cranberry sauce. You won't believe how easy it is to make. Once again, I'm starting with my oats, almond milk, and chia seeds. And then to that, I am going to add a couple tablespoons of cranberry sauce. And then we are going to add the zest of half an orange. There is really nothing more wonderful than the combination of cranberry and orange. And just the smell of orange zest on your hands makes this worth doing. We'll shake it up, get it into the fridge, and it is ready to be devoured. Super simple breakfast idea, super seasonal flavors. Finally today, you guys are simply not gonna believe how good this next idea is. We are making an eggnog overnight oatmeal, and of course, it features some eggnog. 
but without the booze, because let's be honest, we shouldn't really be drinking at breakfast. Am I right? <laughs> all right, so this one all starts once again with my oats in my jar, but instead of traditional almond milk, I'm actually using almond nog. Now you definitely could use a dairy-based eggnog in this recipe, or even a homemade version of eggnog, that's totally fine, but I am really loving these dairy-free almond-based versions because they taste the very same. Once I've got my eggnog in my oatmeal, I am going to add my chia seeds. And then for some additional flavor, I have got some vanilla extract headed in here, as well as some ground nutmeg, which really is the secret spice in any great eggnog. We'll just pop the lid on this, give it a good shake, get it into the fridge, and when it's done, it is super delicious. If you wanna go ahead and serve it with a little vanilla flavored Greek yogurt, you definitely can, or leave it out, totally up to you. But let me tell you, the festive flavor of this particular breakfast is going to make you think the holidays have already arrived. I hope you'll give all five of these awesome ideas a try. If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo. I always love seeing your kitchen creations. All of these tasty ideas are available on my website and linked in the description box below so you can take a look for them there. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.